Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my updated candle collection. Now, I actually will have to film this video and likely add to it as I'm editing because I am filming on the 7th day of January. I'm still waiting for my Boxing Day haul from Bath & Body Works. So I know that there's be a few candles there. So at the very end, you'll likely see another little, hopefully you won't even know, probably wouldn't know if I hadn't even said anything. I just wanna let you know that there's definitely some more coming on its way and they're supposed to be here any day, like today or tomorrow. With that being said, let's go through all of my candles that I do have by brand. If you guys do like these types of videos, please don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy it and subscribe down below for very very similar content i definitely like anything that smells good so it's going to be candles home fragrance personal fragrance hauls i do lush i do lululemon as well that's completely different but anyway let's get cracking into my collection currently speaking of lush i actually have one lush candle that i received in december's was it lush kitchen box that's what it's called so i have not burned this or anything and I know that they used to have, like a, two years ago, they did candles with a wooden holder and I think it caught fire. Something was not right, so they had to redesign everything. And this one here is actually in the scent 29 High Street. So if you're familiar with Lush and enjoy that kind of thing, 29 High Street is the location, the original location of Lush in England. And 29 High Street as a general rule when it comes to the fragrance is actually the smell that you smell when you walk into a Lush store. So the everything <laughs> the herbal the sweet the gourmand the uh, fruity the everything that you smell so i have not burnt this yet but of course i will always come back to you guys and let you know how i feel and how i felt this went because they're fairly expensive candles i know they brought some out for christmas or the holiday season so anyway 29 high street in lush candle another one i have just one of at the moment because i burnt the other one this past uh, summer before we left uh, Halifax is from Sol de Janeiro or Sol de Janeiro and Charissa 62 and this is a beautiful scented candle. I love this. <laughs> now you can sometimes get the candle on Sephora Canada but I did order this directly from the website from Sol de Janeiro and uh, basically if you sign up for the newsletter tip tip you get 20% off. You can also place your order with that 20% off unsubscribe to their newsletter and then it'll be fine. So that's what I did because I'm like, I hate getting emails constantly. So this is a beautiful, mm, let me smell this again. It's been so long. Ugh, this is so good. So many people and myself alike consider this fragrance. They have a perfume, a body spray, they have shower gels, lotions, hand lotions, foot lotions, um, shampoo and conditioners. They have like pretty much an entire line on this scent. Now, this scent is remarkably delicious. It says, bask in the warmth of Brazil and our bright, beautiful candles scented with our iconic and addictive Charissa 62 fragrance. Soul sparkle with lots of salted caramel, pistachios, jasmine petal, and vanilla to fill your world with a sunny, sensuous deliciousness. This is gorgeous, you guys. I never want to be without this candle. Again, I don't really see it on the Sephora Canada site very often. I know the US seems to have it more. Um, I will likely burn this this summer and I will likely go and order two more for the next two years. That's kind of been my shtick since 2020. So I found this in 2020. I loved it. I discovered the whole line in 2020 and it's gorgeous. Highly recommend. It's a great burning candle and smells, oh my gosh, so delicious. So now let's talk DW home candles. Now I don't have a lot of them right now because I don't really find them as often as I wish I did at Winners and Home Sense here in Canada and sometimes Marshalls. In the States, you got Home Goods, TJ Maxx, all that fun stuff. So, and where I've moved back to, their Winners and Home Sense really gets picked over by candles, and I've not really had any that stood out since I've moved back. With the exception of the first four I'm gonna show you, which I only bought for more decor reasons. Of course, I love them, but I bought them because they're very holiday, they're great for displaying. These are just little jars that you can reuse. It's just a sticker from the, the sticker. It was, they're all $20. They were pretty expensive for these little tiny candles. Uh, generally, this size for a DW home candle would run maybe $10,999 or so. This is looking like a snack, and it has a little gingerbread on the back. Of course, there's just run. I hate the stickers. I despise the stickers. <laughs> Winners in home sense, like they do not come off very well. I wish they would stick to putting them on the bottom. But anyway, I digress. 
This is actually in the scent uh, gingerbread cookies, which is on that little plastic cover. I have these on display, this one here, and the next one is peppermint mocha, so self-explanatory. There's nothing else on that jar. Then I had the Tis the Season, and this is sugar and spice. So not quite like Bath and Body Works Tis the Season, but it's a similar kind of vein to it, I guess. But this one also had a gingerbread man, woman, whatever you want to call it. I'll probably offend somebody anyway. So peppermint bark is the last one I have, which I have seen peppermint bark in different jars from um, this line. Of course it had, these are all Ray Dunn. I should have mentioned that they're all Ray Dunn. That might be why it was $20, but this one here is in peppermint bark scent, just like it says. So these ones I had on display in my kitchen. Um, I have a nice little nook that I can put some display things. So they're gonna be tucked away for next year. I don't plan on burning them, at least not right away, but um, I do enjoy them for the seasonal purposes. The last DW home candle I have to share with you guys is peppermint bark. This is the same as this candle here, but this is just gonna be display. This one I have burned even this year in Christmas time. I'm just a little, I've got a little over half left. This is a two eight candle. This is a big mamma jamma. This says 90 minute approximate time of burn time, I should say. Anyway, I love this. Peppermint bark for me is synonymous to me traditionally burning this the first time of the season when I go to put my Christmas tree up. So I really do enjoy this scent. It definitely has a great place and memory in my heart. I absolutely love peppermint bark. This is the biggest of probably all the DW home candles I've ever owned. It's quite large. So I'll probably get a couple more Christmases out of it or holiday season. So I really do enjoy this. If I ever find this, like my rule of thumb is if I ever in a winner's in our home sense or Marshall's here, if I see anything in this, I will pick it up because I never want to be without it. Okay, so here's a new to me like line. I've still got to burn these now because I've only just been back in my home for a month. So now I can start burning. I do plan on definitely burning one of the ones I'm about to share with you guys shortly so that I can give you guys an idea of how they burn. These are all from Hallmark. So I actually found them in a drugstore in Sydney, which is really close to Victoria, British Columbia. I, I know that they're, I think it was in, I wanna say Pharmasave, which is a drugstore here in Canada, or at least on the West Coast. This is Cider Mill, and this these are all three wick candles. Now they're fairly close. The wicks are really quite close. This is a line I found in the fall. So I think I picked this up, I want to say October-ish. This one here is apple cider and cinnamon. So I haven't got anything to say about it yet. I do plan on burning one of these very shortly and I do have this and three more I'm about to share with you. So again, from the Hallmark same line, this one here is Harvest Festival, which is fresh apple, nutmeg, or oh, fresh apple and nutmeg. So again, there's this one here, still three wicks, all that fun stuff beautiful little lids. Um, they were not cheap, but you can get them on sale, but I still think the sale price is pretty expensive. It depends on how it burns, of course. It does say here US $27.99 and Canada's $35.99, but I think I was able to buy one, get one free at the time, but still pretty expensive, but it really kind of depends on how it burns if it lasts a long time. Next up from that same line is Heirloom Pumpkin, which is pumpkin and brown, brown butter? Brown butter. <laughs> so anyway, um, very similar to Heirloom Pumpkin. Mm, from Bath and Body Works with the, just a little bit of sweetness to it. So I'd really like this one. And I, of course, I'm always looking for alternatives. I would love to try different candles from different places, as you will find out in this video. And the last one from the Hallmark line is coffee, or sorry, toffee chip cookie. And this is described as toasted almond and caramel. That's it, toasted almond and caramel. And look at that picture. It looks really good. All the lids are the same. You've got your three wicks. Mm. Oh, that smells really good. It's uh, sort of borderline too sweet for me because of the toffee. I have this thing where I can only do so much when it comes to either cinnamon or caramel or maple. I, d I don't do maple scents. I know I'm Canadian, how, how bad am I? But uh, it's too ooey gooey for me. This is on the border of that, but I'll definitely get back to you guys on that. Okay, so I wanna share with you guys this ginormous candle. I can barely fit in frame. This is from Flashpoint. Please don't, it's, just, it's a big mess. This is actually an outdoor candle that I was gifted by Flashpoint Candles in the US. This is huge. Now, I'm gonna flip this upside down. Burn within sight, keep away from things that catch fire and keep away from children. Um, this was six pounds. Now, look at this beautiful dish. They're all handmade, one of a kind, 
dishes. I have actually used this for so many things, mostly for when we lose power. I love this candle. There are 12 wicks here. They really do a great job. The glow and the heat that comes off of it. So what I was saying about that is I moved to Halifax for three years, maybe a year or so after I got this. And when we went to Halifax, I went, I went through like two hurricanes and um, we lost power. The first hurricane for like 36 hours, which I know is not a lot compared to a lot of people. This was great. In the, in the evening when it got dark, we wanted to play cards. It put out the best heat. This is supposed to be an outdoor candle because there's so many uh, wicks in it. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's right there beside me. So if things go awry, I've got a, you know, a way around that. But anyway, really love this. And Flashpoint Candles was so kind. They were like the first ones to reach out to me. Flashpoint Candle and Root Candle Co., which I really got to, they're just so expensive to ship to me. But Root, Root Candles are also great. And they were really supportive of me. So anyway, love this. I will absolutely repurpose this dish as well. Next up, I have some candles here from a company that is Canadian, which is very hard, well, very hard for me to say because there's not too many Canadian companies. But not only is it Canadian, but it's actually created by a veteran. And all of these have themed sayings that I'm sure the U.S. would also chuckle at as well. Partial proceeds to all their, their sales actually go to the veterans and so in Canada which is really nice again we don't have a lot of that here in, in this country. But I wanted to do that because my husband pointed out to me and I was like I laughed so hard with some of these little sayings. I haven't tried them out yet. These are nice little travel sizes. I will definitely in the year 2023 be going through these and letting you guys know how I feel about them. First one is Fresh Blue Rocket. This is fartlessness and freshly clean scented candle. I was in a blue rocket once that was so full you couldn't put the lid down. It was like a real life emoji looking back at you. Only time in military service when it's good to be the first man in is right after the jingle truck cleaned it. Ew, <laughs> but totally relatable, I get it. So that's very cool. And then this one here is I support Veterans Voices of Canada. I forgot to mention this is the Battle Rattle Candle Company. So they're out of Eastern Canada. So anyway, love this one. So this one was very cool too. Um, they're all different smells. This one's hilarious. This could have been an email. Like we all know, courses that we go to, and you're like, well, why couldn't we, the waste of our time. Why couldn't you just send us an email? We would had to sign off to say that we did it. Anyway, very cool, uh, funny, and the good idea fairy. So this is Beat It and Bubblegum, a mythical creature that sits on the shoulders of officers and NCOs and whispers in their ears pointless ideas for fixing items not broken, usually causing more work for troops and hopefully credit for themselves. Probably again, we can all relate to that, can't we? And day, days and a wake up. So hope and jalapeno cranberry scented. Actually, this smells really good. This is a wake up refers to the last day you will be in some place, usually meaning deployed. Ask someone how much longer that they have in a country and they'll usually respond along the lines of 27 days and a wake up. So very, very cool. And the last one here, it is rock, paper, rank. And this is a rum and regrets scented candle and where a senior person pulls rank during a game of rock, paper, scissors after making a lower rank think there was a chance, they may win and possibly get out of work. Paper beats rock, but rank beats everything. Again, very relatable. All right, I have a one-off candle here. This is called, well, it's from the Goats on the Roof, which is a place called Coombs here on Vancouver Island where goats actually live and eat on the roof of a big market. And this is the Pure Rustic Hand Poured Candle. Got this from an old boss that I really don't like. I'm not afraid to say it because she was a complete you know what. So anyway, um, I just burn this again, power outages, <laughs> whatever, but it's fine for that. Um, but uh, this has no sentimental value to me at all. It doesn't smell like anything. I mean, sure, this candle company is wonderful. All right, so now we have a new to me candle company that I purchased all of these myself. No one paid for it. I'll try to remember to insert the video I did when I initially received these. Now I've been burning two of these. They are from a Canadian candle company called Boulevard Candle Company. And these are super cool. Now I'll just say that um, they all have lids. They all look like cement. They feel like cement containers. Um, very cool, very pebbly. And all the labels actually slide off. So that way you can have the aesthetic of just this jar as it is. This one here was in, or is in, the sandalwood and fig leaf. I haven't burnt this one. It's all, they're all wood wicks. Slight crackling, but not a really loud one. 
really great soy candle and I love, love this. And of course I have a discount code down below in the description bar. I have a discount code for you guys. 10% off of the purchase of any or all candles that you purchase from this company. Again, a Canadian candle company. Those are hard to come by. And this one here was, or is in berries and champagne. So I definitely want to burn this one next. Again, like you can see, we've got a woodwick there. The two that I have been burning, this one here is tobacco and vanilla. The sexy candle, like really, really sexy. So I was actually burning this earlier today, as you can see. So that has been burning really, really well. I just sort of cut the trim back a little bit of that wood wick before I light it up again. I generally like to burn, like because I'm home right now, burn in the morning my candles while I'm freezing my wax melts and then burn them for a couple hours. So this one's doing really, really well. Unfortunately, this next one, this, the, the wick is just struggling a bit. Um, so as you can see the difference here in how it's burning. Um, so I have tried my best to light this. So I'll light it and it just, it just smolders really than more than anything. So I think it's a one-off. Um, I'll let you know once I get to the other two. I have the tobacco and vanilla and that's burning perfectly. So this one's just having a little moment. So it is natural products after all, but there's a lot of oils in here and it throws these little candles, maybe small, but they sure are mighty. So again, if you guys would like to, to um, support a Canadian company, the link is down below, uh, the discount codes there and everything. So give a shout out to the Boulevard Candle Company out of Vancouver, they're great. All right, so now we're gonna talk about Nest. <laughs> Nest has been a candle brand that I have really fallen far uh, in this last year and a half. So one of these is not new to me. Two of these are very new. One of them I burned and one of them I have not burned yet, but I've wanted to have this in my collection for so long and I cannot wait to the fall probably for that one. But let's start from the beginning. So let's start off with the beautiful one wick candle from Nest. First of all, their jars are absolutely stunning very handsome, very beautiful and handsome, and you can repurpose these easily. And a lot of people use them for makeup brushes and such, but they would also make really nice glasses. Like I have a nice new bar that would look really good, actually clean them all up when you're done with it. Oh, I can smell it right now from here. So again, as I mentioned, this is the linen candle and this is not the first time I have purchased this. This is a repurchase. This one here is described as orchid apple blossom and an essence of the summer breeze. And this is such a beautiful candle and I love burning it no matter where in the house, but preferably, actually not even preferred, I would love to have one of these candles going in our great room and one of them in our bathroom because it smells that good. So that is the linen one and I 100% recommend that one for sure. So next up is a candle I have not burned yet. Again, similar little jar as before, but slightly different color. Of course, the wax is orange. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. This smells like a chai tea, mm, but there's a little extra cinnamon in there. So this one is pumpkin chai. So this is described as a cozy autumn ambiance with a blend of wild pumpkin, spicy masala chai, cardamom, ginger, and cinnamon. So all things in a chai that one would love. So I have wanted to have this candle for the last few years. And I always try to, I used to try to save and wait till the Sephora VIB sale in November, but then it was always sold out by the time I got to it. So this year I decided to snag it <laughs> early. Um, I am glad I have this and I will likely burn this and love it. Not even if, it's when I do burn it and love it, I will likely get the three wick of this down the road. But this is, I'm gonna try to save this for the fall of 2023. It smells so good, just like right here, right now. It smells delicious. And the last one here is this Mama Jamma three wick candle that I did buy from a Sephora VIB sale in November. I did and was able, I'm a Rouge, so I was on the first couple days before everybody else had access. So this is the holiday one, which I have wanted for so long. It's an expensive candle, guys, very expensive. But I had this out on my dining room table. Again, look at this jar, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and the smell, oh, it's so good. It reminds me of a couple different candles that Bath & Body Works does kind of combine together. Sort of a sweater weather, a little bit of tis the season. Now, they describe this as pomegranate, mandarin, orange, pine, cloves, and cinnamon with a hint of vanilla and amber, and it's beautiful. And of course I would churn the wick before I burn it next time. I'm actually packing this away till next year. It's gonna just be they're waiting for me to burn Christmas of 2023. I am so in love with this candle. I'm super happy that I got in the three wick. And actually I'm really happy with the burn from Nest. I get a really good burn. And I mean, they're not cheap candles. So you want to make sure 
that you enjoy and you get the most longevity you can with your candles, right? So I highly recommend Nest if you can afford it. If you can get a sale or anything like that, I would highly suggest to wait for a sale as well. If you guys have been a part of my channel for any length of time, you probably have seen this candle for quite some time years now this is from a candle company that is no longer in existence this is the country homes candle i believe they've gone out of business but i bought this gosh bed bath and beyond i want to say seven eight years ago and i bought it because not because of its smell i hate maple since they're too ooey gooey for me as i mentioned earlier but because it had our national anthem our traditional national anthem all along the side and the beautiful i really love this cork this like cork lid i just thought it was super nice it's stamped like burnt into the wood i thought it was really nice too ooey gooey for me i only burn it on canada day which is july 1st so I only bring it out for a couple hours because I can't stand the smell. It's I even just opening that, I was so strong. So let me just say, it's lasted a really long time. She good candle, she's a great candle. I only burn it one day of the whole year. So anyway, again, this is a company that no longer exists, the Country Home Candles, but I do like it so and I love that we have our anthem on here. All right, so the last category is my largest category. I'm sure you're aware it is Bath and Body Works. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you may not know this, I might be able to add them in hopefully at the end of this video, but I actually have a haul coming with some more candles. So I will just start off with the candle that I was burning, the one I have open, which is Christmas Cider. So I did pick up some candles, um, I guess it was Candle Day and this is one of them. This is Mold Cinnamon, Crushed Clove, Creamy Nutmeg, and Simmering Cider. So this one's been burning really, really well. I actually haven't had to trim the wicks. Like they've done really good. Um, they're not too long and they don't get in the way, but it's been quite strong. A little confusing. I think I said that before in a video, slightly confusing on the scent. My nose kind of is not sure where to go with it, but I do like that one. And then a whole bunch of the other ones here I have, most of them are from the Candle Day sale uh, in December. This is Endless Weekend, which is a, like throwback candle from when I loved and hoarded candles. I had so many. Uh, Endless Weekend is such a great scent. It's a summer scent. Um, very cool lid, kind of schmucky in the middle because when we received our candle day candles in the mail, it was like minus 10 out Celsius and uh, very cold here. So the candles definitely had a little worse for wear, but they'll be fine. It's described as fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, blue coconut water. Love this candle, guys. They discontinued it for a few years and I was happy to see it come back. So that's why I had to pick up another one. Another candle day candle that I bought whoop, is Fala Latte. So uh, anything with coffee, uh, there's a couple, there's Paris and v Vienna or whatever. I've been seeing it on social media. I would definitely pick those up guys. I love the coffee scents, well, any coffee scents, but especially when Bath Body Works does coffee, I think that they do a wonderful job of their coffee candles. This one here is a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. It's definitely more cookie heavy and less of coffee. Actually, I don't even smell coffee at all. So I'm a little bit concerned that not sure how that's gonna do. So anyway, um, as I mentioned also before in other previous videos, I'm a little nervous when I don't buy a lot of vanilla heavy scented candles from Bath & Body Works because I find their vanilla heavy scented candles go schmucky after like the third burn. They go black, they go gross, they start smelling like kerosene for some strange reason. That's what I get from almost any mainly vanilla based candle. The vanilla bean candle I remember was atrocious for me years ago. So anyway, they'll be curious to see how that one does. Then we have champagne toast, which of course is synonymous for the new year, at least in my mind. So this is just like a white barn and very nice three wicks. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's lively, so it's very different from all other candles at this time of year bubbly champagne sparkling berries juicy tangerine so that is that one guys very traditional very standard but i do enjoy this one let's go to an older one this is from i want to say 2021 autumn i love autumn it's my favorite between leaves and autumn you're either team leaves or team autumn like favoring one over the other i am team autumn so i love this one so it's bright red gala, gala apples juicy fig eucalyptus leaf so it's very minty like you're chewing bubble gum while you're walking down a nice a like like a leaf path like it's the middle of the autumn or fall and you're walking around you've got some gum in your mouth <laughs> it's got the fresh air the fresh breeze the leaves the autumn the apple 
apples. I'm from the Okanagan or South Okanagan in British Columbia. So it's very, like, it's very nostalgic for me. Then we have some newer ones to me. This was, or is, Spice Gingerbread. I picked this up because I thought this was cute. I was a little bit worried about the smell, but it's actually not too bad. Like, a, you know what I mean, with cinnamon and gooey gooey. This is a vanilla icing, cinnamon, sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. There's enough of the spices other than cinnamon that I really enjoy. I'm looking forward to burning this. Whether I get to this this year or next year, doesn't matter. I love the little stripey number here too. To another stripey number, <laughs> we've got Tis the Season. This is a staple for me. I always have this. I always have Champagne Toast, Autumn, and Frosted Cranberry. Those are the ones I really can't live without each year because uh, I tend to burn candles more in the winter. But Tis the Season is a staple. I already burned through one from the 2021 launch. Though this one here is a rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. So again, it's strong. She will throw for your whole house. And if you want your place to smell like the holiday season, this would be the candle. Tree farm. You can't have a fake tree like us without burning a tree scent somewhere. So that's why I pretty much buy this. It's because we do have a faux Christmas tree. I will be saving this for next year because our tree is down. But I really do enjoy this scent. And um, again, when you have a fake Christmas tree, sometimes it's nice to have this going as well as maybe another candle going. So you trick your mind and you think you're in the woods when really you've got a plastic tree. But anyway, <laughs> love this one. Let me just see what it says on the bottom. It says crisp pine needles, warm cedar and spiced apple. So it's a gorgeous candle guys, 100% recommend, especially if you have a faux tree like us. Then we have the sweet whiskey. I haven't burned this yet, um, as you can see, brand new. <laughs> I did get this on candle day. I am curious because, like, first of all, I love the jar. I don't know if anybody, I have not seen anybody else since I posted my video when I held this saying, cause I, I like a whiskey. This is supposed to be a whiskey glass. This is supposed to be a drinking glass. These, this, these markings are exactly like a drinking glass, um, a shorty. Uh, cocktail glass that you would drink your whiskey sours or what have you in. I love it. I thought that was really cool and it's where my eye went right to uh, whiskey. So I like whiskey, sweet whiskey. So we'll see how this one does. It's described as golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. So first for me, I have not obviously burnt this, but when I do, I will get back to you. And the candle I have had for many years, thank you to my friend, is winter mint and spruce. I did have two of these. I did chop one of them up and prolonged that chopped up candle. I'll try to remember to insert a video of a chopping, what I do to chop up three wick candles from Bath and Body Works to save some money, um, prolong some of your favorite scents, things like that. Anyway, I did chop one of these up and probably melted it over a couple of years because I didn't want, I didn't want to be without because they still haven't brought this one back in all this time. So I know it's a hard to come by candle. It's not the hardest. I wish they brought back the cranberry pumpkin. <laughs> but whatever dreams I'm still having a girl can have dreams still right anyway uh this was such a beautiful gift that I'm still very unlikely to burn this anytime soon so there's that as well all right so I just received the candles I was talking to you guys about earlier on in this video my boxing day uh sale haul or the SAS sale haul just arrived today which is the 9th of January and it ordered the 26th of December so Without further ado, I'm going to show you the last five candles I have to add to my collection. And the first one's actually repurchased. It's the only repurchase that I can honestly say that I've got here in this pile. And the first one here is in Fiji White Sands. This is a beautiful scent. I absolutely adore this. You're going to see a lot of very summery scents to me on the last couple here. So Fiji White Sands is one of my absolute favorite and staple candles for the summer. Now I don't burn that often in the summer, but I do enjoy it once in a while. And this one is described as fresh cut sugarcane white nectarine sandalwood. So this has just been a staple of Bath and Body Works for quite some time. I've really enjoyed it. So therefore I really enjoy this in my collection as well. And I was able to get a bourbon candle. So I got the bourbon candle, which I love the smell of bourbon. I am like a whiskey gal myself. And this one is described as white pepper, dark amber, and Kentucky oak. So not really in the scent notes description, no alcoholic version. It's just really the barrel, that kind of scent that you're going to get from it. Oh, it's, it's very manly. I'm not sure where I'm actually going to burn this. It's very bathroom scent for me in a good way. Like it's just very cologne-y. Um, I kind of wish that it actually had bourbon or whiskey scent to it. 
Uh, but even like I said, the description down below didn't even mention any alcohol. So there's that one, the bourbon. Then we have Kiwi Starfruit Cooler, which is new to me. And first of all, this packaging is absolutely stunning. Love it. It is a white barn, hence the uh, white barn up here. The sentinel descriptions read sweet starfruit, sparkling kiwi seltzer, splash of guava juice, and lemon to garnish. And this is beautiful, you guys. The scent, the color is gorgeous. Is that like pale greenish? Not not quite sea foam, but very close. Anyway, this is so nice, you guys. I'm saving this clearly for summertime, but I am super happy to have this in my collection now. Another new to me fragrance is the Ginger Lime Twist. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I like me a gin and tonic. So I was kind of hoping that that might be the scent I would get from this. This one is described as fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. So it's very similar to a gin and tonic. And um, I think it's just so good. I like, I love the ginger, I love the lime, and the fizzy notes. Now I don't get effervescence. I'm gonna smell the lid here. It is an effervescence, but I do really enjoy it. There are very few vendors that do effervescence, and I don't think I've ever smelt an effervescent fragrance from Bath & Body Works in all the years I have been involved in candles and love them. Very intrigued to burn this one. I think this might go really well in our bar perhaps because of that gin and tonic feel to it. So I think I might, that's what I might just do. I might do that. Next up we have Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Now I have, a, I've had Aloha something something before, but I don't think it's exactly the same. The packaging is very summery. Obviously this whole scent is summery. The scent notes read tropical passion fruit, kiwi and juicy pineapple. And this is beautiful. Oh, this is so good. It's actually juicy. Like I get that juiciness of the pineapple. It's not too stingy. It's not too acidic. It's almost like a creamy pineapple, which is really, really nice. So again, really happy to have this in my collection as well. All right, you guys, so that is everything I've given you the most updated I possibly could give you of this candle collection. So that is it, that is all. And I'm definitely going to be doing a warmer, like showing you guys what warmers I have throughout the house too. I know that one's coming down the pipe as well. So thanks again for watching as always, you guys. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.